musical intelligence. If maths is the language of physics, then music is the language of emotion. As a way of communicating emotion, music has no parallel. The closest anything comes is lyrical poetry which is word-based but gains much of its power from the musical rhythms that is the foundation of the poem. Music abounds in nature. One need look no further than the dawn and the chorus of birdsong in forest all around the world. Humans are by no means the only species on this planet that expresses itself musically, though for sheer diversity of musical expression, humans are certainly prolific. Every human culture in the world has some form of musical expression. And what is more, that music is unique to that culture. Listening to that music gives you a window into the soul of that culture, giving you insights that can be had no other way. In our evolutionary past, the language of emotion was the primary language with which early humans expressed themselves before verbal language. Before the ability to communicate verbally evolved, early humans communicated their feelings to each other. Over time and with experimentation, the tonal language of music developed into the many forms we know today. Musicians possessed eloquence no less powerful than that of the great rhetorical orators. In its most elevated forms, music can transport a listener into a transcendental state of rapture. Only those who have never experienced it would argue that the great composers do not have the ability to transport a listener to a higher plane. The writer Kurt Vonnegut once commented that music is, to me, proof of the existence of God. It is so extraordinarily full of magic. The cognitive requirements for musical intelligence includes the ability to discern pitch, rhythm, timbre, and tone to a high level of awareness. It is evident in composers, conductors, musicians, vocalists, and appreciative listeners. Action exercise, to develop musical intelligence, begin by seeing that all music has merit, not just the kind you like. All music deserves to be listened to at least once, even the kind you do not like. Actively broaden your musical tastes, seeking out and listening to musical genres that you previously avoided or have not heard before. There is an astonishing variety of music in the world. Every culture has produced its own unique form of music. Much of that music still survives in the world and is available on the internet via YouTube at little or no cost for anyone to access. Because music is largely about the expression of emotion, much of what you listen to beyond your favorites will produce an uncomfortable sensation that will make you want to switch it off. After all it is assumed that listening to music should be pleasant, otherwise why would you do it? You do it for the very good reason that opening your mind to previously unknown influences has a mind-expanding effect. It is about experiencing what other people in other parts of the world feel deeply. The musician wants to share that experience with you if you would only let them. Accept their gift with gratitude. You can think of it as a form of travel that you do not need to leave home to experience. As an extreme example, do a Google video search on death metal. What comes up is going to seem repulsive to most people with its demonic vocals and wall of harsh sound. Without judging it, ask yourself what this music is really saying. It is expressing the alienation and angst that some people in the world are feeling. The music is a window into their painful world. Simply understand their worldview. Understanding it does not mean you agree with it, or want it for yourself. Look for something good in it. In the case of death metal it may be that the music is all that stands between a deeply unhappy teenager and suicide. They will not always feel this way. Then Google Bach Violin Concerto and choose one from the list. What you now hear could scarcely be further from death metal. You are hearing music that expresses devotion to a divine ideal, made to be listened to in a Baroque cathedral. It is looking to the bright dawning light in the sky and imagining paradise. Death metal is looking into the dark sulfurous pits of hell where souls writhe in torment. Now here's the important part. Try to make your opinion of these two very different genres as neutral and judgment-free as possible. Try to understand what the music is really saying without making value judgments. Both types of music are expressing something real about the human condition, albeit at opposite ends of the spectrum. If you can accomplish this feat, then all of the music in between these extremes will become more accessible to you, and your musical intelligence will have been enhanced.